Hi, and welcome to another segment of 300 Guitars TV. I'm Billy Penn, the Penalizer. <laughs> and in this segment, I'm going to show you a really cool tip on how to get more travel out of a tunematic bridge for better intonation. I brought along some flashcards here. <laughs> Hand drawn. Uh, magic marker and paper are not my medium. I'm more of a watercolor guy. But uh, hopefully you can get the idea here. Let's say this is the side view of a tunematic saddle, like on this guitar here. Um, let's say this is the saddle. This is the intonation adjustment screw. Let's say you've cranked it all the way back this way, and your guitar is still sharp, and you need more travel this way. There's nothing else you can do because that saddle is, is back as far as it can go, and you can see that the angle of the saddle is shaped like this. What you'd want to do is take the saddle out, and I'm going to show you this in a minute, and switch the saddle around. This way you're going to get a little bit more travel uh, out of the saddle and um, give you that little bit extra to try to get this guitar to play in tune. I've had a few people emailing me saying, oh, I have a, you know, a guitar like a, a Gibson SG or, or some other type of guitar with a tunematic type bridge, and I cannot get like one or two strings to intonate. And I ask them, well, which way is the, the angle of the saddle facing? They usually tell me, well, it's this way. Okay, well, here's what you do. You take the saddle out, switch it around, and then you're going to be able to get that little bit of extra to get your guitar play, to play in tune. Okay, this is your typical garden variety tunematic type bridge. And uh, I'm going to show you how to flip that saddle around to get uh, some better intonation. And for this example, we're going to use uh, the G saddle. As you can see, three saddles are going one way and three saddles are going the other. And let's say your G string uh, still is sharp when you try to intonate it. and You need a little bit more travel just to get this guitar to play in tune. What you would want to do is take off this little wire retainer, pop out your G-saddle, and what we're going to do is we're going to turn this around. Just unscrew it, flip it around, and screw it back in. Saddle back in the tunematic. Get your wire retainer. These things can be tricky sometimes. So you have to kind of be careful. There you go. There's the tricky part. <laughs> okay, good. Now, <clears throat> let's crank back this B saddle. See, and that's as far as you can go with the B. Now, see, since we flipped the G-string saddle around, look how much more travel you can get. Hopefully, you can see that. You get about, a, I don't know, an eighth of an inch of travel, and that can mean all the difference uh, playing in tune or out of tune on your guitar with a tunematic bridge. It's really that simple. And that's all there really is to it. You just take that saddle out, flip it around, flippity-doo as I like to say, and you have a little bit extra to get your guitar to play in tune. My flashcards, A, B, and that's the way it goes. Get this tunematic bridge to work out for you. If you have any questions about this, please uh, drop me an email. Happy to help you out, answer any questions that you have. Leave comments here on the blog. Fan me up on Facebook, tweet me on Twitter, and stay in touch. I'm Billy Penn, The Penalizer. Thanks for watching another segment of 300 Guitars TV.